against a police state, against racist intersectionality, against political correctness, against mob rule, against the racist socialist left, against the victimhood liars. The idiots have been in charge way too long. And that's why you're here. For the podcast you need. All for liberty all the time. Welcome to Liberty Bites Back. With your host, Brandon Immel. I've been saying it for months now, that this is tyranny. Mask mandates to COVID-19 lockdowns. All of the COVID-19 restrictions are tyranny. From Business Insider, some state and local governments vote against COVID-19 restrictions, citing tyranny as U.S. deaths approach 3,000 per day. Several state and local governments have recently voted to rebuke governor's public health orders. Hearings and votes were taken up in Colorado, Missouri, Ohio, Virginia, and Washington to flout restrictions. In Virginia, almost 100 people packed in the Campbell County Board of Supervisors meeting on Tuesday, with many taking their masks off upon entering and never putting them back on, according to the Washington Post. And that's exactly what we all need to do. We need to take those flipping masks, throw them in the garbage, and never put them to flip back on. Many of these votes are non-binding resolutions, but some proponents say that's not the point. And that surely ain't. We're showing you we're not complying to your bull crap. The United States is setting grim milestones as daily record COVID-19 case surge to over 200,000 and single-day fatalities approach 3,000. But several state and local governments are moving to thwart the coronavirus restrictions. Well, they better do it because our human rights are above our security. Lots of these votes are non-binding resolutions while many are in Merker Mercury, oh, Merker legal territory. Regardless of the measure's legal standing, the Americans pushing for the examples of the nationwide backlash to the public health efforts to contain the worst surge of the coronavirus is facing the nation thus far. Colorado, Missouri, Ohio, Virginia, and Washington are among the states that have had hearings of or votes this week regarding public health measures from state legislators to county governments. And this is a couple of weeks ago. But the overreaching theme among proponents of these votes is to send a message to the governors emphasizing the challenges facing small businesses. Though there are also activists from anti-vaccination movement involved. A third wave of the anti-lockdown activism in Ohio One of the key planners in the moving against Republican Governor Mike DeWine's health orders has been Barry Sheets, a lobbyist for one of the biggest anti-vaccine groups in the state, according to the Highland County Press. Sheets recently argued in front of the State House Committee that contact tracing is unconstitutional and he's registered as a lobbyist on six pandemic-related bills. Hey. If there's somebody wanting more rights, I don't know if that's really a bad lobbyist, but I'd have to look into this guy a little bit further. But I would like to say that they use people like this to go ahead and bash everyone as being exactly like these people. Well, I'm uh, for vaccines. I don't know exactly what this guy exactly believes. He, he gained an authority in the Buckeye State following his push for a bill that would have allowed health insurance providers to cover the cost of reinserting a fertilized egg into the uterus, which experts have called impossible. She, Sheets' messaging is similar to that of others in the broader anti-lockdown movement, a term which Dr. Anthony Fauci called a misunderstanding on Wednesday, and using wording centered around civil liberties instead of public health. In Virginia, residents of Campbell County compared themselves to the patriots of the American Revolution and lambasted the tyranny of Democratic Governor Ralph Northam, according to the Washington Post. Many are contesting the tyranny and calling it out as such. This is wonderful news. Of course, they shove it all with the fraudulent claims of lies, smears as being a conspiracy theorist. Soon enough, you may wonder. I'll say that, dumb wits. We must contest the tyranny. We must refuse the tyranny. And we must refuse the, even when the tyranny is beyond 2020. 
reinstate our Constitution is the game. The Patriot Act, the NDNA of 2012, any of the other authoritarian measures that have been passed, the governor's orders need repealed, erased, and forgotten. Not to hide the atrocity, but where they would never do the same ever again.